My name is Laura Frericks and I farm with my husband Adam Collip. Uh, our farm is Loon Organics. We have two hoop houses. We're about to put up a third hoop house um, to extend our season. And the idea was, well, what can USDA do to help uh, producers? And uh, one of the things that they thought of was these, we call them seasonal high tunnels. Essentially it's just a covered structure um, with plastic so you're getting some passive solar heating up the soil. The main benefits are of course that it extends your season. We have a warmer microclimate to grow greens and tomatoes and cucumbers in on both ends of the calendar. And then you have the disease for most crops is reduced quite a bit. We didn't know what the interest was going to be and we found out there was a lot more interest in fact than we even had money to fund. So that's exciting. I think it'll be beneficial to the farmers that have one and certainly to the consumers that purchase the products that are produced. Last year was the first year that we were growing in hoop houses and we were at the first market, which was May 5th, and that was over a month earlier than we had ever been before. And it's, it would be interesting, we have some things in the field that we planted in mid-April, and they're this big. I mean, they just don't grow, you know, without that heat. We kind of, you know, would just have to wait around. <laughs> Today we had baby arugula, hakurai Japanese salad turnips, red radish bunches. We had a number of different herbs and we had baby bok choy. We get greens because that's most of what they have right now. So I got the organic greens and the romaine. Yeah, winter's pretty hard. <laughs> winter's rough. Just eating uh, root vegetables and, and stuff. And we've been craving greens for a long time. We go through We'll go through this by the middle of the week, I think. We're taking advantage of that early market when people are really hungry for, for greens early on in the year. We're able to kind of get a jump start on the season, increase our income that we're getting, so we're not concentrating our income on just five months of the season that are really, really intense, but we can spread it out a little bit more. And then, of course, for the eater, it's a real benefit because they're able to get more local produce, it's a lot fresher, it tastes way better.